in free agency or via trade. The move that I like best so far has been bringing Paul Stastny back to the organization. We know that they've been looking for someone to play in that second line center role. Brian Little is not going to be able to play this season. And Stastny is a familiar face. He played back here in 2018 when they acquired him at the trade deadline. It was small sample size, but he seemed to have some chemistry with Nikolai Ehlers and Patrick Laine, who are most often in that second line role. And so you're bringing back somebody that is familiar to the coaches that's familiar in the room and gets along with the players and also has a lot of veteran experience, which could be very important in a season like this. Sarah, this season the Jets lost in the qualifying round, but they were dealing with some pretty significant injuries against the Flames. So with a very similar core moving forward, what are your expectations for this team in the upcoming season? Well, I think there's so many variables that could impact what expectations are for any of the clubs in the NHL this upcoming season, many that we don't even know yet. But when I think about the Winnipeg Jets, I think that at the very least they should be competing for a wild card spot. I think that whenever we see hockey back on the ice, that the Jets will likely ice a more veteran lineup considering how important every game is going to be to be able to try to get those wins and those critical points. We know that Connor Hallibuck is key to the Winnipeg Jets' success. He obviously had a fantastic season last year winning the Vesna. They will need another strong season from him, but at the very least they should be in the mix for a wild card spot. All right, Sarah. Sarah Lesky in a wintry, snowy Winnipeg. <laughs> All right, Mike. <laughs> After making a run to the conference final three years ago, the Jets haven't won a playoff round since then. How deep can this team go this year? Well, they are so talented in a couple of key positions, Gino, that I think getting to the second round is probably something that the Winnipeg Jets could hope to accomplish because as Sarah mentioned, they got the best goaltender in the world last year. If Connor Hellebuck is as good as he is once again, well, that gives them an opportunity to have a good regular season, avoid maybe one of the top seeds in the first round, and then they have a chance with a goalie that good to have an upset in the playoffs. And then you couple the fact that their top six might be as good a top six as there is in this league with the addition of Stasny and Liney and Ehlers and everybody else that goes along with the Winnipeg Jets. The concern is you love the forwards, you love the goalie, Will the defense stand up? And will the defensive zone play stand up well enough, long enough, Gino, to make the Winnipeg Jets a viable, deeper run contender? I'm not so sure. Second round seems like a good prediction.